Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to programmatically set an alarm clock on Android from C Sharp. First of all, create a new Unity project and create a mono behavior script and bind the button click event to it so we could test our implementation. Let's have a look at uh, the Android documentation page about what we are going to implement. We are going to create an intent object and pass it to start activity method. Uh, you can think of intent object as a collection of attributes that describe the task that, that you want to perform. When you pass this object to a start activity method, and uh, when you do so, Android system will look for the best candidate to perform the task that our intent describes. In our case, to create an intent to set the new alarm, we have to use action set alarm. I will leave the link to this page in the description. And this is uh, the exact uh, code snippet that we are going to implement, but in C Sharp using Unity Android Java Object API. Okay, uh, now let's scaffold our method, uh, create a method called create alarm, uh, pass a string message hour and minute. That's all we're going to need for now and invoke it when the button is actually clicked. Uh, great, now go to the action set alarm docs and copy the constant value over to your C sharp script. Now let's create our Android's Java object for intent. For this, we need to, as a first parameter, copy the uh, full class name from the Android documentation. And the second parameter after that would be the action that we already have in our constant variable. Let's stop for a second and match up what we've done with uh, a Unity documentation. So here is the documentation for Android Java object. And here is the constructor that we are using in our C Sharp script. So as you see, the first parameter is the class name and uh, which is uh, Android content intent in our case. And the second param is an array of parameters passed to this uh, constructor. So we are matching it up with, uh, with this uh, constructor, which takes an action as a parameter. So if you have a look at our script, this is our, this is the exact match of, uh, of this constructor. Add these three new constants for the parameters. And here where they come from. Uh, if you have a look at our action set alarm docs, you, you have here extra hours, extra minutes, and extra message. If you click on one of those, you will be redirected to the uh, variable value and you can copy this over directly to your C-sharp script. Now add this code to put our parameters into the intent and note how the method calls are chained here. Now add this code to get a reference to the Unity activity. Finally, call the start activity method on the Unity activity and pass the intent uh, Android Java object that we have built previously. Now, if you launch the app and expect the lock get locks, you will see that we get an exception that says that we are missing the set alarm permission in the manifest file. Okay, so to find Android manifest file, create a new folder named Android inside the plugins folder. Now right click on the assets folder and show it in Explorer. And in the temp staging area, you can find Android manifest XML that you can drag and drop into your Android folder. Now let's open our newly created Android manifest file and add the missing permission save the file and get back to Unity. Now build the app to your Android device and let's test it. So click and you see that our new alarm has been successfully created with the exact hour, minute and message that we have provided previously. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. As an exercise, you can try implementing other parameters displayed here.